A Roanoke home builder who suddenly closed his business three months ago explained himself today to the federal government and the people still owed money. David James Holmes founder Merle Heckman told his side of the story for the first time. 10 News reporter Todd Simmons was in that meeting and shares Heckman's version of what happened when David James Holmes shut down in July and declared bankruptcy at the end of August. They left a lot of people in the dust. How did the David James Holmes empire collapse so quickly? In his first words since the stunning closure, founder Merle Heckman says it came down to bad business advice. I wanted to see the company continue. I did not want to see homeowners that had houses halfway built get into the position where they couldn't get their house finished. During his testimony in a bankruptcy creditors meeting, Heckman said he paid a consulting company $250,000 in January to get David James Holmes out of debt. This needed to be an arm's length transaction. That was their explanation? Yes. He says they told him to form a new corporation and a new bank account with longtime employee Clark Ware in charge to handle David James's income. CCMP took over Heckman Holmes management, received all the money that was due Heckman Holmes. Yes. All of the checks made out to David James Holmes were then deposited into the new account. But Heckman says Ware controlled the new company and its money. They set up their own bank account. And so all the draws were going into their account and they were they were making deciding who was going to get paid. However, Heckman says they never put the management change into writing. So when Ware left in July, Heckman says Ware took the money with him and left David James broke with no choice but to close. Heckman told the creditors he regretted how David James Holmes met its demise. This to me was a way for the company to continue on and to get all the homeowners out there that had houses under construction to get their houses completed. In Roanoke. Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you. And there will likely be another creditors meeting concerning Heckman next month.